morning, good morning, y'all. I'm up in the crib. We are uh, getting ready to just go do some uh, regular shopping today. It's raining outside. Um, this year, I told myself I'm gonna try to fit everything into um, six days work-wise and then try to actually get some rest on a Sunday um, and uh, take care of other things that, you know, whether it's playing with the kids or just relaxing, coming up with ideas and just having that one day to rest. But I mean, for me, one day of rest is really just no physical labor, but I'm always doing labor of the mind and trying to come up with ideas. And I'm still, I still be working. I still go down my checklist and go out um, and uh, take care of things. Earlier this morning, I was gonna get, you know, let y'all see me going through uh, the chemicals and stuff again, but um, it was raining here. So I already know what type of week is about to be. It's about to be like super cold and wet whatever but you know hopefully uh we can get to it uh, in the morning i always boil my eggs and stuff get my little breakfast ready you know what i'm saying i try to eat halfway decent and uh that's what y'all hear me begging getting these eggs ready and i uh get me a little fruit and egg breakfast ready because um uh, in the morning time like that's part of my checklist like i um Wake up, you know, wash my teeth, brush my teeth. I mean, wash my teeth, brush my teeth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, wash my face, brush my teeth, and then I throw some eggs on. And that's because, like, sometimes. I'm gonna hear a little bit of water running. Yeah, sometimes you got to go in here and get out, get out the door in the morning so i guess i'm giving you like a little tip you know what i'm saying especially if you want to save some money and save you some time and stuff if you ain't got time to go ride by mickey d's in the morning and chick-fil-a wherever you eat at you know what i'm saying just have you some eggs in the house and have you some fruit you can um definitely get some um to look for um a bowl y'all got to excuse me for a second gonna lead and clean the camera over because i gotta get to a bowl that I need. Okay, so, and then, like I say, so you get you, uh, get you, uh, one of these containers or whatever. This will work perfect for me. I put my eggs on this side, and then, um, I put my fruit on the other side. So I'm gonna show y'all what all that's looking like. But got my egg, I don't peel one on. And so uh, basically what I was trying to say is, you know, doing this, you uh, save yourself some time and money on breakfast. I mean, unfortunately I eat a lot. So really this kind of just be something that hold me over because I wake up, I wake up so early in the morning. I wake up at like, three four o'clock in the morning i mean it's some days that i do stay in the bed like they i probably stayed in the bed like 6 30 or something like that it just depending on like what i did the previous day you know what i'm saying i was kind of chilling a little bit last night a little bit later past my bedtime so you know waking up at 6 30 ain't so so bad when you go to bed um late you know what i'm saying but you know sometimes i just be up either working on I, I really just be working on like business stuff, you know what I'm saying? Trying to elevate my mind to the next level and whatnot. So uh, that's what, you know, sometimes you, you put the late hours in and whatnot. So, but today, what I done found, man, one thing I done noticed is like, especially with these videos, man, be sucking up a lot of memory and whatnot. So that's another tip, I guess like, I be just trying to put people up on game, man. Cause like when you hit my phone, like hopefully, you know, I be like, man, plug me in, cause I'm gonna plug you in, type of thing. You know, we all out here trying to get to the next level. And that's what I'm all about. So, um, yeah, man. Um, so this breakfast, this the egg and fruit breakfast. It's super easy, super simple, nothing special. It's an empty box. Y'all don't judge me. I'm about to put these eggs in here because I got to throw it out outside anyway. The eggshells. 
got me some honey bunches of oats last night when I got in because I was a little hungry and I needed a snack. So, what I'm looking for. All right. Alright, so literally guys, all you need to do is just get the past fruit. Past fruit. Now, I'll say this. Whenever you get these packs of fruit like this, like strawberries and the uh, blueberries and stuff like that, you gotta go just get just get that for the week unless you got some other people eating on it because if you're if you one person that's eating on it, man, um you gonna it's gonna spoil if you do the other tip that I'm about to give you. So the other tip I'm about to give you is like apples, oranges, and um, apples, oranges, grapefruits, anything like you can peel. That's pretty much like, yeah, that, then the things that I, the other ones that I do, like now those last for a lo longer period of time than the, uh, the little berries and stuff like that. So uh, when, you, when you're doing that, you can put that stuff in the fridge and you know, every day I just take the knife and the, uh, the 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 outer part of it off, you know. What I'm saying? How do you how do you eat your food? I mean, I don't like to deal with the uh, the outer part of it, so I just cut it off. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Um, but yeah, so these strawberries, you know, I just take the stuff off of them and throw them in my uh, throw them in the uh, in the tray. Get them ready to eat. I don't really like dealing with these because it's just another step. But strawberries taste real good, so I'm in it into them. So definitely gonna have some strawberries. And I'm slacking, like I say, I, I gotta go to the store today and get some stuff to replenish the house. I need uh I need some more eggs because obviously I eat eggs every day. And I, I just eat the egg whites, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't eat the whole thing. So, the one thing about eating these fruits and, um, and the eggs and stuff is, um, you know, when you detailing, when you detailing, man, I don't know if you notice how bad your body break down. It don't matter. I mean, a lot of people think, you know, because you moving around and, uh, doing all these, you know, strenuous activities with detailing um, that, you know, your body can keep up with it or you feel like it ain't, I don't know. Basically what I'm trying to say is when you eating right, all, you know, when you, as far as being sore or whatnot, like if you eat right, it'll help you to not be sore. It'll help you to, um, on your day to day things, you know, whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna also, I'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff, like the supplements and stuff that I do take. Because, um, like I say, I've been doing this long enough to where like, man, it's been days where like, my body just break down. And I'm like, man, something got to be missing, you know what I'm saying? So, that being said, make a show you know that being said you gotta stay up on like the stuff that your body needs to keep going on this day-to-day on -day, uh, activities and whatnot so that's why I uh, that's why I'm promoting you know proper nutrition and whatnot so uh, right now you know what I do I'm just sitting here trying to uh, my dishes and stuff washed because I don't really like to leave the house. I don't really like to leave the house with the dishes in the sink and stuff like that because like, it just kind of like throw you off for the next morning. But it's sometimes that I wake up, you know, I'm going to tell you this, man. It don't matter what type of checklist you got or how you want to be structured and stuff like that, you know, life still does happen and you know what I'm saying, you, you kind of have to like wing it. But don't get in a habit of winging it because if you get in the habit of winging things all the time, like you ain't gonna have no structure or whatever. And it's like a lot of people don't like, you know what I'm saying, get along with me because it's like I kind of hold them to a standard of 
being structured, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, for me, I just look at like, it's just some of the people that I follow that are, um, you know, that are where I'm trying to be. And you know, they, they're a little bit more structured and they follow plans and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? To the best of their ability. And it's a lot better. And you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, plans and things yes they are meant to be changed and stuff like that but it's like you gotta have some type of little guideline when you wake up on what you're gonna follow to get your day going and that's pretty much what i'm saying like i got like a little guideline go ahead and turn that water up a little bit but um i got a little guideline that i follow and whatnot and i was uh i was I, you know i did some of it earlier you know and really this is part of it you know getting my fruit breakfast ready and uh, cleaning up the kitchen and stuff like that. I'm gonna brew me on some coffee on the curry and uh, go from there on a thing. I'm trying to figure out where I wanna put this cup because I ain't really supposed to go back in the can and just throw away. But if I read on washing, I'm gonna use it again. So, uh, so yeah, we gonna turn this pot on. I'm sitting here calling it a pot. It's a goddamn curry egg, but man, curry egg, hey, help me say that time. Hey, hush. Goddamn dog going crazy because of the TV. Munchie. All right, y'all. So yeah, man, I'm just in here washing these dishes real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna go through some of the little supplements that I have. That, man, I'm telling you, go to, your local uh, nutrition place that sell all that, you know, the nutrition stuff, the powders or whatnot. Uh, and I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what to get, man. And when I tell you, it's one, it's one thing that I can say, get, that'll help you out. Um, for sure, or like, your muscles being sore and like, just you feeling better on a day-to-day -day base but like I done you know with everything I kind of like done mutated it and then I got my own little formula that I put together so I'm gonna take y'all and show y'all what I do and uh, get to it I actually need this cup this cup right here I'm a little mixing cup I got some other ones that's wide but I like to keep my Keep my cleaning uh, <clears throat> items and all that stuff down to a minimum. But you know, my fruit breakfast is definitely done. I'm just washing up the dishes um, that I done made from the previous day. It ain't many of them, cause like I said, I try to keep all that to a minimum. That's the one thing y'all gotta understand, man. Like you can you can dirty up something so quick, <clears throat> but if you maintain it. If you have like a, a, a some kind of thing, make a way that you can maintain it on a day to day basis. <clears throat> so like my laundry, like my own, my kitchen and all that stuff, it don't really get that dirty because I just, I only make a little bit and do a little bit every day, you know what I'm saying, to, to manage it. So what's the name? Um, let me uh, let me start showing y'all. I'm gonna show y'all some of this stuff that I've been using um, as far as like, as far as like you know your nutrition let me get this coffee started and uh walk over here real quick <laughs> and i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all man when y'all get that curry look man that's all i do all them cups and stuff, that's expensive. So, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I get the big, I get the big thing of coffee. I get that big pizza, big pizza. I get that big thing of coffee and I just scoop it up out of the, man, it don't take you a long way. So, yeah, don't get me wrong, like I can afford whatever I need to afford in the stove, but it's all about Anything in life is always about saving money and putting the money towards something that's gonna make you money. And uh, you know, don't be spending all your money on just pointing stuff and whatnot. Oh, 
can turn the TV down. But, uh, come on now. I don't know my remote. But, anywho, I got my, um, my pie ready. I'm about to go stick this in the curry. Anyway, y'all, I got my other, I got this other uh, pie here. We're gonna rinse it out. Like I say, I'm gonna keep my dirty dishes. If I got that time to go ahead and uh, get them washed up real quick. All right, y'all. Let me uh, show y'all this stuff. So, boom. This is a uh, men's multivitamin. Um, it says cellular energy, immune and muscle support. Obviously, we're using our muscles every day. I'm gonna go ahead and take these anyway. Now, these are the gummies too, man. They sweet, so you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a little treat every day for me. You can see I take them because ain't, ain't, there's not too many more left. I need to go get some more soon, so. I'm going to tell you, two of, two of them a day. And basically, you make your little, um, the protein shake. So, um, look at five pieces. I'm missing a piece. Oh, there you go. Let me see. So, I like the little gummies, they're nice and fruity, sour, whatever. Make you want to take them. You know, nobody really likes taking no pills and whatnot. All right, y'all, so it's gonna be one, two, three things I put in this thing. And you can omit, I'm gonna tell you one that you can kind of omit for the most part, because it ain't super important, but I do it. Now, I got my cup. I'm gonna walk over here to the uh, my water machine, put a little bit of water in it. All right, y'all. I only put like six ounces of water in here because I don't like to make my uh, I don't like to make my protein shakes like super like high volume or whatever because this stuff ain't like it tastes good, but it don't taste like something that you gonna just want to sip on you know what i'm saying so this right here is called uh sustain um a lot of people um are familiar with the whey protein which i take whey protein too um but not as often as i take the sustain so the sustain has like um it's got like a rapid a rapid release of uh like damn let me let me get it right so this says rapid and sustained release for up to seven hours of muscle fuel. But you know, basically it's got a bunch of like vitamins and good stuff in it or whatever that help you help your muscles throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? So it go ahead and give you a jump, but then it also lasts for like seven hours. So you know what I'm saying? When I wake up in the morning, it's good to go ahead and get this in my system because it's like helping me throughout the day. Only put one scoop of that up in the, and then so, and then I take the creatine monohydrate. I, I know the monohydrate part. It, it's it's a uh, it's a big thing, and I only do uh, one scoop. What is this? Let me see how many uh what the measurement on this. <clears throat> I just do one scoop of a five milliliter uh, spoon on this in here a day. And <clears throat> I know this helps like muscle strength and stuff like that. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. Like I'm not no uh, nutritionist or nothing like that, but I'm just telling you what I do to help me. 
from just researching it and like I don't have all the like technicalities like when I actually look this stuff up on you know how to break it down for you let me say it like that but um it, it helps you know what I'm saying so I feel better everything's been working good so like I say the sustained protein the uh, creatine monohydrate one scoop of that and now this stuff right here this kind of just helped give you like that that boost so like honestly I don't even really need to have coffee in the morning like and but so what I did was like I used to take like a big scoop of this stuff it's called lit and it's a pre-workout but I just put a little bit just to give you like that boost you know what I'm saying in the, in the morning now you can take more you can take the whole scoop if you want to but you're gonna be feeling you're gonna feel it like straight up like this is something that you definitely feel but um i just take like a little scoop uh 1.25 and i would suggest that if you're gonna take this the 1.25 you ain't gonna really notice like if you what's the name um take two of them you'll probably notice it a little bit more but don't take like this is what comes with it like a big scoop if you take that whole school right now, you definitely gonna be lit. Like seriously, you're gonna be on it. So I had started taking a half of that and then I broke it down some more. You know what I'm saying? So now I just take that little little bit just to get me on, uh, just to get me pumped up and going. Um so we're gonna go ahead and take that. So them three things I I'm throwing in here today. And like I say, you know, basically I, I went with the little scoop of lit because I like to drink coffee and like, you know, coffee does have a little bit more caffeine in it and stuff like that too. So I don't want to be like super like all over the place and stuff. So uh, that's that. So put that in the water and um, I switched from, um, I stopped doing this with, uh, you could do almond milk, but I don't know, man. Like sometimes like, um, like this stuff, like I just want to get it down, man. Like it seemed like the water just helped me go ahead and um, get it down. So man, make sure your cup kind of had that issue. My cup, uh, cup was uh, loose one day, and I shipped this junk everywhere on my side. So yeah, I mean, it's part of my routine, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna um, suck this down, and then we gonna get started with the rest of my day. Try this, it might not be like the most appealing tasting. Um, that's why I say so. Do it first, <laughs> go ahead and hit it first in the morning, get it in your system. Um, because it's got a little weird taste to it, but it don't taste bad, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't taste bad, it just it ain't preferred, you know what I'm saying? Something that I really want. And uh, I'm gonna try to show y'all this fruit breakfast on what it's looking like. So like normally, I take a little small cup like this to measure my fruit. So this like 10 tablespoons. So I usually dump my fruit in this little thing, whatever I'm gonna um, eat. Just do two of these a day. That's more than enough fruit, you know what I'm saying? Like in the morning, I, I mean, you can, I don't know, this is suggesting to y'all what I do. But, um, that's what that's looking like. Y'all can see the eggs and uh, and I do put salt on my eggs because I mean, especially when you're working out in the sun and then in the summertime when you're sweating and stuff like that. Um, the uh, the salt, the salt do help put all that all that you lose back in your system when it comes down to like sweating a lot and. Losing no minerals and whatnot, so it's a this a good little um it's a good little breakfast, you know. And then especially if you just trying if you trying to lose weight too, like and you don't want to be eating all like a lot. This right here is like a perfect like 
you know, not too many calories, but gonna gonna get put some on your stomach and make you feel like you full type of thing. So yeah. Look around, letting this water out. Got the dishes washed. I gotta go hit the stove, buy a couple things that I need, and um, see what's up with my kids, and we'll see what the day brings. You know how it go. But it ain't no pressure. All right, y'all. So. Let me finish getting right by the finish making this coffee and uh, we out of here. What it do y'all, y'all can see we pulling out of the driveway like we always do. Uh, we about to head over here to uh, Gainesville so we can uh, grab a couple things I need. Um, I need like some memory cards cause uh, been getting a lot of content, a lot of footage and stuff for y'all and I don't feel it up my main hard drive and uh you know I, I gotta get a couple of things and stuff that come to mind um my business and stuff just like getting ready for the week nothing too major but uh we're gonna slide to the stove and uh grab some of that stuff and go from there what's up youtube we uh got my guy over there i just slid in my card i ain't want to get him all on uh on my camera and stuff like that but uh that was me back in the day when i used to um push cars and stuff like that so now i uh i do my thing with the winning ass car wash you know what i'm saying so i try to like put everybody on game like i always say slide in the wall man. Mm -hmm. all right guys we in walmart looking at uh hard drives you need to get by man Looking at hard drives, but I think I'm about to go to Best Buy and grab it because uh, I don't know nothing about these things. So we're gonna keep moving. I need to go grab a notepad anyway. Make it happen. Yeah. I just started it for my car wash. I got a, um, I got like the number one um, mobile detailing company in Gainesville. So I just been giving everybody like my day to day and uh, showing them some of the details and stuff like that. But I also talk like business and how to like start whatever business you got going on and stuff like that. So if you ever need something, just like hit me up. So it could be by any business because I try to like get involved with other people's businesses as well. But, Good to see y'all. Check out my website and subscribe to my channel. All you gotta type in is uh, Winning Edge Car Wash right. on YouTube. All right? Yeah. See, I ain't gonna lie. When I started doing the YouTube thing, I was a little nervous, like what people was gonna say, looking at me holding this camera and stuff like that. But you see, it actually get, it get people interested. I had done walked off and they calling me, asking me, am I a YouTuber? I don't really say I'm a YouTuber, but I guess I am now. He trying to find a notepad. So I'm about to lose this buggy. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, you know, I'm big on taking notes and whatnot. We over here in the notepad section. I just need some, some like this. Um, basically because like I do have a, I use color notes on my phone, and um, you know, I'm always dealing with chemicals and stuff like that. So like. I don't want to always get all that stuff on my phone, but sometimes I don't take the notes that I need to take because uh, I be touching, you know, all the chemicals and I don't want to grab my phone. So basically I need a notepad to where <clears throat> I can uh, take the notes continuously. Oh, look like my bug anyway. You can, you can kick it out of the way, my bad. Yes, sir. Leave the buggy in the way. Man, I think I'm about to just go with this one. It ain't got to be perfect. I just need something to take some notes with. Actually, might end up going with this little thing right here. I don't like the color of it. So let's see if we can. If 
find where the, the rest of them at and get that. Then again, I ain't gotta be picky, so we'll see if we can find it and go from now. All right, guys, we made it to another. We made it to another side of the uh, stove. I, this is actually what I needed right here. Ain't too big, ain't too small. Got some paper in it. I just need to take some notes whenever my hands dirty and stuff like that. And I need to grab a little pencil or whatnot um, to have on my side to uh, take the notes or a pen. Probably gonna end up being a pen, so the. I ain't got to deal with, um, <clears throat> you know, the pencil not, you know, sometimes it get wet or whatever. So I'm just sitting here looking for the right pen to grab. <clears throat> Man, I'm telling you. All right. So we going to go with uh, the G2. You can't never really go wrong with the G2s. I was looking for something. <coughs> okay, I don't have Rona. I'm just clearing my throat, y'all. <coughs> but, um, yeah, just looking for some options right now, man. Straight up. All right, y'all. Let's not make this difficult. I'm just gonna go with a G2 and a little notepad. Honestly, I don't even think I need anything else out of Walmart. That's all I really came up in here for. I know it's some other stuff that I could get, but uh, we gonna keep the budget light. That's all I always tell y'all. You don't, don't spend all your money. Just grab what you need and get up out of here because you'll be buying all this stuff. So let's keep it moving and we're gonna go on to the next thing today. And I think it's gonna be like the cheapest bill I ever had at Walmart. But like I said, I had to come in here and grab what was on my mind real quick. And I'm out of here. $3.49, y'all. Yes, sir. We out of here. None more, none less. How you doing? Gonna get on up out of here. We gonna head to Best Buy. So I'm going to Best Buy to buy this uh, hard drive that I need to um, keep my videos on there so that uh, they can give me the best advice because I'll probably end up with like a solid state drive or something like that. But um, we'll see what they tell me whenever I get there, uh, what we need to do. So. Oh, what I'm shaving at. Oh, he's jamming in the Prius. Boy, what we got here? Somebody in the uh, Cadillac, I ain't gonna even lie, I seen this Cadillac. I seen this Cadillac in traffic, so we definitely gotta put a card on the uh, car. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's how I be getting business too. I, uh, you know, I see certain, certain cars and whatnot. Um, Sometimes I flood a parking lot, but uh, y'all see what it is. Don't be afraid to, um, don't be afraid to promote your company and get that business. I do it every day. Close mouth, don't get fed. Lead that.
All right, guys, we in Royal King. We back here looking for some oil. Show y'all what oil I'll be going to get. So, so right here, I just come get this oil. I mean, to be real, <clears throat> the older trucks when you when you working off used trucks and stuff like that, the um they seem to lose a little bit of oil every week so I just come get this ain't number like $13 or whatever some uh, Providence automotive oil so the Colorado it take 530 so you know whenever it lose that oil I uh, just put a little bit in there you know every week make sure like the engine stay rolling right but we gonna get on up out of here before I find something else I need to buy cuz man Rural King is like the Walmart for people who work outside. So you'll get caught up quick trying to keep up with Rural King. You know? But it is what it is. Let's go over here and look at these guns though. Hey, good morning y'all. Checking it out. Just putting y'all guns on my YouTube real quick. I about to say so. I literally, um, I was the first year. I hit it. They were like, nah, that's not enough. I was like, okay, so I beat, I back up. Right here, beat, 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 beat. So I do, I beat the man, so I beat him. Right, like, see P2. It's that thing right there. Oh, the old trail wheels. I'm like, yeah, it's time to go. So I put the bucket in, try to slide against the ground. I start hearing it. As soon as I hear it, it went. And I was like, me. So I'm, I'm, I'm on like the, the rear lock of the like the differential lock. Yes. Yeah. Where both wheels get spinning. So like I'm doing four wheels, like just bobbing and just like going. Oh, like now you have to tilt back and lift up. Tilt back and lift up. Like the power goes. Then you tighten it up. Then as soon as the tilt down it breaks off, the whole power like smack the ground. Like, hey bro, what y'all selling these for? That's for a crossbow. Oh, I'm about to say. Look like something I could put on a um. Which one? Of, which one of these could I put on a uh, like an air rifle? Like one of them gamo uh, the pellet guns. Does it have like a pellet gun, like a gamo? Oh, yeah, Does it have the um the light in it where it, like? No, they don't illuminate. Illuminate? Do y'all have one that y'all recommend that illuminates? Um. We are out of stock of the one that I would recommend. What's the price on it? They run about two hundred dollars. Is it uh? No, not the Firefield. Can you write? Time. Can you write it down on a piece of paper so I can either like see if they have it in Ocala or order it? Um. Well, they can't order anything. We can't. Rule can we don't order anything. Um. Well, here. All right. You mentioned the Firefield. That's the one I'm going to recommend. You got Amazon? Can you shop on Amazon? Yeah. Amazon Prime. So I have this exact optic on my 22. Okay. And it does illuminate. Right. And I highly recommend it. It's fan fucking tastic. It's $150 on Amazon. That's what's up. That's what I need. That right there. All right. So you gotta. Um, you can take a picture of it if you want. Cool. I don't got. Actually, I left my phone in the car. Red or green illuminated yeah. reticle. Here, I'll I'll print this page for you. Yeah, because I don't know if this is gonna show up good on the, on the video. What are you doing the video for? So I got my car wash. Um, uh, I got the number one detailing uh -huh. company in Gainesville. So I'm just trying to do my YouTube for it. So uh -huh. I, I post videos every day, but I mean, I post the details, but I also talk about like the day to day on it, on like what we dealing with and stuff yes. like that. So I let people inside on what's going on. Yeah, definitely need that school. I'll be doing a lot of uh, squirrel hunting, so. Mm -hmm. Now this is a one to six, so at one, there's no zoom to it. And to six, it's a six times zoom. Okay. So you can zoom in or no, or no zoom at all. It's got a, you see if there's so a picture of it. So when I zoom, is it gonna change any other, you know, like? The zero? Yeah. No. So basically I if can you're, see you, it, see it, and it's gonna hit. If you're set to one, right. and you zeroed in, and you said you put it on a pellet rifle, right. so 25 yards. 
Okay. Zero it at no no zoom, zero it at 25 yards, fire it. You turn it to six times, the zero stays. Okay. You just see your target closer. Exactly, yeah, so, that's what I need. Didn't need to print all that, but <laughs> that right there. Man, I appreciate it, because I've definitely been looking for something that's real good. No problem. All right, the man. That comes, the mount you see on it, it comes with the mount and everything. Okay. It comes with the whole set. That's all about the information. Highly recommend it. Man, I really appreciate that. No problem. And you say these work for 22s too? It'll work on anything that has a Picatinny mount. Okay. I have it on my 22 because I've got more higher, higher end stuff on my ARs and stuff like that. But when I first bought it, I put it on an AR and it okay. worked beautifully. Let me let me ask you this too. Um, I think this is my AR that I bought from y'all at the back. Right you bought it up. from us? Yeah. How long ago? Like a year or two. All right, let me see if I, I can look it up in here and find out exactly which one. What's your last name? Uh, Duncan. D-U-N-C-A-N? Yes, sir. First name? Brian. B-R-Y-A-N. What's that Okay, so you're not in our system. Duncan. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, What's your I'm address? Say, well, too long. Um, 21, 691. Yeah, I'm about to say. Williston? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You bought a... Anderson Manufacturing AM15 yeah, and a Smith & Wesson M&P1522. So uh, you bought this, which with that scope will 100% guarantee it will work. Okay. And you bought something close to this right here. Yeah. Does that okay, because like the, the, no, okay, so the 22, the reason why I was like looking at that, I was like, dang, I ain't get that gun, but I, I, I got it for somebody, I'm gonna be honest with you. And so I got that. That's my gun right there. Okay. So that optic, 100% guarantee will so work. So I can put that on my AR. Absolutely. All right, bet. Absolutely. Yeah, I need that for sure. Cause I um, I haven't, I didn't do too much playing with the AR because you know ammo went up crazy. So, but I definitely um, I want to get it right. But I, I done shot it a few times, but I ain't shot it like I need to. I've got about 5,000 rounds of 5.56. Five, I've got four AR-15s. I've built over 300 of them. Okay. AR-15s and 1911s and Ruger 1022s are my okay. go-tos. That's what's up. Is that a, so with all the gun experience, is that a good one? I just kind of bought one. because It is time, a good one, yes. Yeah, at the time, I just wanted an AR-15. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, that yeah. is a very excellent entry-level rifle. So if you have no AR-15s, no experience with them, and you want to get one because you like them and they're cool and they're fun yes, to sir. shoot, absolutely fantastic idea. Okay, and then the other thing too, so like I want to get into like hunting like hogs and foxes and stuff like that, but I'm thinking like that's not a no knockdown power, is it? No, uh, hell it's not. So that's, I can go hunt some foxes and stuff with that gun? Foxes? Most definitely 100% yes. All you right. can not, you can backflip a fox with a 5.56. Five, now okay. for boar, you can, yes, yes sir. but I'd recommend a little bit more power. So what I'm gonna recommend you do, and it'll save you a lot of money doing this, right. is let me pull the rifle out and I can better. Explain. Yeah, cause I was thinking more or less like, dang, I'm trying to look. See, I was thinking about getting one of the savages, but I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? If I could just use what I had. So this is the rifle. Yes sir. So you know you have these two pens right here right. that you can push them out to take it apart, right? Right. Get a new upper. So this section, the barrel, everything, get a whole new upper calibered in 300 blackout. Instead of 556, five, you okay. put the 300, it'll 100% work. You can use the same magazines, same lowers and everything. You just have to get a new upper. Okay, let's say I don't want to mess with my AR. Do y'all have a 300 blackout here? We do not. Okay, do y'all carry one in? Later? Very rarely do we get a 300 blackout in. Okay. But it won't mess with your rifle at all though. Right. Because you put, so you can swap between the 556 and the 300 black. Okay. So if you go to the range, 556, bang, 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 fun, you know, target What about shooting. the, what about, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. The yeah. target, like, okay, say I sighted in with the, the 556, is it going to make a difference with the 308? You I wouldn't mean, not be, the 308, but the, the you wouldn't blackout. be swapping the optic. The optic would stay on. Because okay. once the optics is, is zeroed, you leave it there. Okay. Because if you don't mess with it, if you mess with it, it'll throw your zero on. All right. So yeah. you would get, a, so essentially you'd get two of them. Yeah. One to be on your 5.56, one to be on the 300 blackout. Now, who sell the parts for that? Do y'all sell the parts or do I have to just go somewhere and tell no. them what I'm trying to do? You can, yeah. You can go up to uh, Lawful Defense up the road, about 15 minutes up the road that yeah, way. That's how they'll probably it. have 300 blackout uppers or they'll have the parts to build an upper. Okay. Um, and you can go to any. Bear Creek Arsenal is somebody that I highly recommend on the internet. Okay. You can order it and it'll go straight to your house because the upper is not serialized. It'll go straight to your house. No background right. check, no nothing. Cool, man. I appreciate it. Well, yeah. We have a shitload of 300 blackout ammo. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate that info and uh, definitely gonna make that move. No problem. Yep. Y'all have a good one. Hey, man, check out my YouTube and uh, subscribe. Oh. All right, y'all, we just got us some uh, gun knowledge for the day. You know, I'm a country boy, so I be in the woods shooting from time to time, but I definitely want to get into doing some more hunting. We're going to go get this oil paid for, and we is out of there to the next thing. I got to go to Best Buy and uh, get this uh, memory. It's hard drive and whatnot, so I'm gonna slide over here and get it done. All right, y'all, we walking up out of Rural King. We got that oil, got us a little bit of gun knowledge. So, you know, definitely gonna implement that at the uh, house on the AR. So, we gotta go do some more research on like what parts we need to turn it into a 300 blackout. I want to do some uh some fox hunting and some boar hunting and stuff when the, when the time come around and stuff like that so i definitely want that the proper weapon but uh anywho gonna put this thing this oil on the truck later on we're gonna get all that oil checked out and man i'm gonna definitely uh i've been wanting to uh do some more squirrel hunting and stuff like that gotta get that on the channel and uh show y'all how us country boys do it but I already killed like, I think I done got about 19 squirrels this year. So how we do it is, uh, you know, every month that has an R in it, that squirrel season to, um, that's the right season to kill, the uh, right time to kill some squirrels or whatnot. When they get hot, we leave them alone. But uh, yeah, let me slide on to uh, Best Buy. I had got there a little early. I'm trying to go ahead and get there so I can get this uh, stuff that I need so I can get to my mom's. Grab these little kiddos and stuff like that. You know, they spend some time with them uh, from day to day when they down here with me. So definitely got to go get them and see them. They be kind of protective of them. So I told them to let them slide to the store with me. But, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on with people getting sick right now and stuff like that. So if they ain't really got to go, I leave them at the house, but uh, I'm out here. But I'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute. Let me uh, drive on over here. All right, what's good, y'all? We back. We over here at Best Buy. Walking up, we about to walk in here and find somebody that can help us with this uh, memory on the uh, videos and stuff like that, so we can keep our videos rolling. Definitely wanna uh, turn up for y'all this year. So let's go see what they got for us. And Best Buy, we waiting on them to bring out my Samsung T5. It's a one terabyte hard drive. Going to upgrade so we can get all these videos saved and stuff for y'all this year. Um, might end up buying some other stuff I need to uh, continue with my YouTube and stuff like that. We're gonna see what um, what we looking like, but um, we gonna see. What else we need? Ask some more questions. I um, God was telling me some different camera settings and stuff like that to use. But other than that, we're gonna keep figuring out, keep plugging away. So you know what time it is. All right, y'all, we walking up out of Best Buy. We got what we need. What's up, bro? Well, you can see, got that 4K SD card. So now we ready to go. Um, needed some more memory and I needed the smaller SD cards and stuff to stick in my computer so it's a little bit less hassle and stuff while I'm on the go but uh we good we out of Best Buy we done spent $250 but anything anything to promote the business or you know make it better and whatnot we gonna spend that money on it so y'all best believe we coming gotta keep winning as car wise going in the right direction and uh, we gonna be good. Yo, 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 get out my truck. Get me out. Man, put the tablet down for a minute, girl. You'll have it when you get back. All right, y'all, we are where? Where we at? 
the kangaroo place. The kangaroo place? I don't know what it's called. What's the kangaroo place? Right here. What, what you do at the kangaroo place? Jump, we play, we get ice cream. Ice cream? You didn't get no ice cream today. But uh, Day Day, you ready to go play? I'm going to jump. You want to jump? Yes, it's a All right, let's go check it out. Y'all ready? Go. Come on, man. Come Okay. What party are we for? Uh, not no party. Is it like? Oh, you're just jumping? Yeah, they just jumping. Okay, so you fill out everything that's highlighted. Do y'all do? Um, is it like in the system that we've been here before? I'm sorry. Is it in no. the system? It, okay. No, no, we don't do system. That right, doesn't cool. work. Put the internet now. The satellites are anymore. No, I don't trust it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, okay, guys, come on over this side. My friend's gonna get you a band. Okay. Everybody have socks. I got all the socks. All right, perfect. When's the last time you were here? Been a while or? Nah, it's been like two months or so. All right, so just a reminder, they can go anywhere because I can tell by their age. Yes, sir. Uh, just a reminder, if they do go down the slide to cross their arms, hug themselves so they don't get a burn. Um, you will only need socks if you're not bouncing, if you go in the fence area. If you don't go in the fence area, you can leave your shoes on. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, I'm gonna give you a number for your table, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's okay. I know, I know. It's okay. Throw that on your table. Okay. All right. So let me get you in here. Oh, yeah, I got it. I need some money. On the floor, cleaning, watching, party hosting, all that. All right. 2780 and you are good to go. God, I haven't seen a real camera in forever. That's a real camera. I know. You don't see those anymore. Yes, ma'am. Nah, that ain't Canon. Is it a Canon? Oh, nah, it's a Sony. that's Sony. It's a real good, good video. I miss my Canon. Yes, sir. People look at it. I look like a tourist, but I loved it. Yes, they don't make sir. any better pictures than the camera. Right, right. All I right, go it. have fun. No problem. Bye, guys. All right, y'all. Let's get these socks on. Let's go. We got to find somewhere to sit at. Nah, I think that table took him. Took him. Yeah, somebody got that table. Come on, we're going to have to go down here. Yeah, we go right here. Take your shoes off. Denea. Come here. Oh, you already got some socks on. Never mind. Never mind. Good. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Bring your shoes. I need all the shoes. Come on, any day now. Slow pole. Man, these kids always take forever to do the simplest thing. Nah, you good, you can keep them socks on. I thought y'all didn't have the right socks. I forgot we ain't at Flip Factory.
about to go get these kids on the channel. Hey, hey. <laughs> Up. You gonna show me some trick moves? You gonna show me some trick moves? That's it. That's it, that's what you got. Why you left your sister? I don't know. You just left her to do her own thing, huh? Huh? Sir? I said you just left her to do her own thing, huh? To let you be. You do your thing. All right, guys. I'm getting back to work. I got stuff to do, but uh, y'all stay tuned. Y'all know what we into. We out here having fun at me. Huh? Ready? Ready for what? Ready for what? See, she didn't want to do nothing when I had the camera on. And now when I was about to walk away, she wanted to do all, this, all these things. I got to go. I'm about to go do some more work. No, you know, we got to take pictures. Yes, yeah, sir. We walking up out of the bounce and play. Come on, Dad. Come across the road. About to get these kids to the other side. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to spend three hours up in this place. So, they definitely done got it in. Doing what kids do. Play around and have fun. And eat pizza. Y'all have fun? Yes, sir. You have fun? Look, y'all, uh, she can't even say yes, sir. Ah. Man, we gonna get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? We out here. We just uh being good, you know, trying to trying to make something of ourselves. So it is what it is.